Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is January 13th, 2024, and we're back on our daily Wordle. Our bonus puzzle today is the Quirtle, and Slate is our new Wordle word of the week. That is right. The best word we can possibly start with. At least assumed so, if you believe in Wordlebot. Slate. Uh, Alright, A and E. Let's go with the word... Well, I was going to go beard, but that would be a little bit of a waste of an A in the middle. Um, I am going to assume that E will go second, though. Um, so let's go with... Let's see. Heron? Ooh, look at that. H-E-A. I'm going to assume that R goes next. Is it going to be heard? Is that the only thing it can be? Let's type it in. Yeah, it's heard. Lovely. Lovely. 170. Threes are catching up with fives. Look at that. 15 behind. It was up to 19, I believe, at one point. Slate is going to help a lot here. Let's see. 150. Uh, sorry. 81 for skill. 85 for luck. I don't know where I came up with 150. Uh, 99 skill on Slate. Obvious reasons. 86 luck. Brought it down to 12 words. Heron. Not skillful, but quite lucky. Brought it down to just one. It could have only been heard. Uh, trace. Look at this. So Wordlebot has changed its strategy up. Probably an, an, another... My guess is that this algorithm was run again after a, a purge of some more words in the dictionary. Would be the only thing that would really trigger that. So Slate is no longer the top word given this dictionary. The uh, C showing up here is incredibly interesting. Or maybe that C is just there because it really wanted that R, that second position. So, trace badly. Badly is an interesting one there. I think just looking for really the B, L, and Y. But uh, locked in, heard in three as well. So, slate is the third top word. Ado, stare, slate, audio. Um, no ages up here. Heard, 7.7. .7. This should be a nice easy word for everyone. 41, 78, 94.6. That's great. 99.1. Yep. So, it's about standard. Uh, standard there, just under just under 1% loss rate. It's pretty standard. All right. Oh, I didn't reframe for any of that. That's my apologies here. Let's just walk back there. Walk back a little bit through that one. All right. Quirtle. Make sure to reframe for that one. Get rid of those ads. Slate. Should be a great start here for Quirtle. And it is. All right. Uh, I'm going to look down here at Puzzle 4. And I'm going to try and figure out where this L might go. So, And it could be a double. We could have a shall or small. So I think I'm going to go with the word charm. Okay, S-H-A. It could be shawl as well, but I think I want to go for the double, double L. Nope, shawl it is. No worries, we do have a ton of information elsewhere. So, where should we go next? I feel like Puzzle 1 is giving us a ton of information. So, if it's SHR... Is there a word? I guess that's... Yeah, there is. It's shrub. <clears throat> All right. Now we have T, C, A, and S. As in acts. Now it can't start with C or S. How about we go with tax? So S can't be... I'm, I'm not very familiar with the Quirtle Dictionary overall. I don't know if the, the S at the end is taken out. I believe it is, but uh, that'll get us at least to play around with that. It can also check for the double S. Um, 
So what are we looking at? Ascot must be it. Ascot. There we are. All right. We have C M. I'm guessing this is going to be comma. Yep, it is. All right, four, five, seven, and eight for the Quirtle. We've already done the weekly challenge, and now we're going to play the daily sequence with Slate, which would, used to be the best word. Um, all right. What now? Let's go with Curio. Interesting. So, there's a couple of options here. Usually when you have just a single vowel, now we could always have the Y, uh, but uh, let's assume just the O for now. Um, we would have consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant. If that would be the case, that L would have to go here. Um, so we could have a D or a K, although I'm not seeing any words that would make that work. Mostly because we've taken out the R as well. Now we could also have a double O. So blank O O L Y or blank blank O O L. I think I'm going to check for the word woolly. That'll cover our uh, double O and it'll cover the Y, so Y does exist here. This will be a godly? No. D O. It's not an L. Oh, we never actually checked the double L, did we? We checked the double O. Dolly. All right, uh, we have A and I to place here. I'm guessing this is going to be Villa. All right, a double O. This is going to be S blank O O. We know that for sure. So S, this could be Spoon or Snoop. Uh, we could also have an H second. So we want to check N P H uh, K if possible. I don't think it's possible with that combo there. All right, let's just go with phone. All right, S uh, Spook. Like we were looking. No, nope, no, S P O O. Spoof. All right, hopefully that gave us enough information. We did get a couple of those wrong where we weren't quite ready to. Uh, double L. There we go. Droll. We did get just enough information. It was clearly spelled out in this one, so no worries there. Five, six, nine, and ten. All right, and I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling good. Let's go. Let's go and add another. Uh, Let's go ahead and add another puzzle. Let's add the connections. I feel like that's a lot of people's favorite. Let's go and add that one. Get rid of these ads. Get that right in there. There we are. All right. Ooh, I see right here, punt, pass, tackle. These are some football terms, American football terms, I should say. Let's see, safety would also be one. Center, run. There's a lot of American football terms. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. That sounds bad. Um, invite. So invite can be a verb or a noun, as in I will invite you or I send you an invite. Would that go with something like ticket? D 
These are tough. Stall. Let's look at badge. Badge means, okay, we've got badge and pass, ticket, and invite. These are things that can get you into an event. There you go. Credentials for entry. Lovely. That takes out pass from our football terms earlier. Uh, table, chair. I'm not trusting where that's going. There's really nothing that jumps out at me. Lead, this could also be lead, as in the, the metal, lead, but I don't see anything that goes with that. So I'm gonna assume lead. And this can, again, be a noun or a verb, the lead in the play, or to lead someone. This one is really hard. So lead, direct, Run. Hold? You can, like, hold a meeting? No one away. I don't trust that one. So these are, you know, signs of being in charge. Chair? You can chair something. There we go. Preside over. All right. Now, checking our football terms again. Tackle. Center. Punt. Safety. There's also Hold. And end, really, if we're being honest. One away. Let's look at the other ones. So, three of these are correct. So, let's look at the other ones for what they might have in common. End, stall, table, hold. Aha, end. Okay, so stall, table, and hold are to delay. Punt, maybe? That's to delay? There we go, postpone. And safety center and tackle are all, all American football terminology. All right, that was a tricky one. Kind of glad I added that one, actually. That was fun. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me a lot. And share this video with anyone who you think enjoy these kind of games. That's all for now, and we will see you all in the next one.